everyone, it's Tammy, and I know that I have done this image once before. Actually, I did it earlier today in real life, but I'm going to post these videos in different times so that um, they both will have a chance to live on their own. But someone had requested that I do a frog card tutorial, and I found this card and I thought it was really cute. And I have done one other card with a smaller version of this same digi stamp. That's the beauty of digital stamps. You can make them whatever size you want and you can print them as many times as you want and the ink doesn't run and it's, I, I just really love them and they're easy to store. There's just a million great things to say about digi stamps. I do enjoy stamping as well, but um, I don't know, it seems like lately more of my purchases of stamps has been digi stamps. But I'll purchase regular stamps too, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. But I do enjoy the digital stamps. I'm taking a drink real quick. The only downfall of digital stamps is, well, for me it's hard because you can't see them all at once. Like I have to literally get out my 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 uh, whatever my storage of digital files, put it on the computer, and look through them to see what I have. They're not at the ready as easily as regular stamps are but honestly I have so many regular stamps too I don't always remember what I have with those either so it's I don't know it's kind of a catch-22 I don't know which I really like better I wouldn't stop purchasing either I enjoy both and I enjoy coloring and I enjoy stamping so it's all fun but if you're ever interested in digital stamps I would say go for it because they're fun and if you go to bugaboo it's b-u-g-a-b-o-o I think it's bugaboostamps.com. They have a freebie Friday where every Friday they have a stamp that they give away for free, and it's a digital stamp. And they are really, really cute, and they're affordable, and I would really highly recommend them. This is not where I got this one, however, and I even said earlier in my first video that I wasn't sure where I got these, and I still haven't looked, uh, but I will try to put that below so hopefully that information is below I've just had some digital stamps for so long way before I did videos and I didn't really keep track of where I purchased them because it didn't really matter but now that I'm doing videos I would like to give them credit and tell them tell you all where I purchased but the first thing I'm gonna do is color this frog and I'm probably going to use a similar technique to what I did earlier today so um, if you've seen the other video you might want to fast forward through the coloring process but if not then feel free I mean either way it's still fun I'm just going to color away and I'm probably going to use about the same kind of a color that I did earlier where I used uh, a lighter green it's G02 for the whole frog and then I highlighted him with forest green which is G17 in my Copic markers and then I painted the lily pad a little yellowish greenish and a little bit of brown and then I did the flower pink and purple and this one purple no pink and blue and then of course I did the bee and yellow and black so I'm probably going to do a similar fashion for this but um, I really like this technique and it's pretty fun and easy and this is just an, a bigger card which frankly I have a harder time doing bigger images especially if they're bigger images with just one color I'm just not the best at that so I'm kind of using this video as a practice for me as well because I have been trying to do better it's just I don't know why it's so difficult for me to get the colors just the way I want them when it's such a large image and I don't know if it's because I'm just still learning I mean it's a combination of everything I'm sure I think I let sometimes the ink dry too much after I highlight it to go back and color it with the lighter color but okay so I did the lighter color I'm trying to leave the tip the lids off I hear that that is okay so I'm leaving the lid off so that I can go in and color this the darker color and I'm just highlighting especially under his little chinny chin chin and I'm highlighting all around him and I'm trying to be careful of these leaves for this flower. Okay, and before I color all of it, I'm going to take my lighter green and then just kind of pull some of that together to kind of 
blend it. Let's see how that's doing. And sometimes I have to even wait for it to dry or I hold it away from me a little bit. I think that looks pretty okay. Um, the belly is a little lighter than the rest, which is what I would want. So I think I'm doing all right. I'm sure you guys can tell me otherwise. Oops. I am going to do the same with his cute little froggy face. Frogs are so cute. Like, pretend frogs. Real frogs are so cute. Maybe some of them are. I don't know. I love animals. Like I have a weird, probably to a lot of you, weird love for animals. I just love all creatures. But I do not like insects and I don't like snakes or reptiles. And I think I, I know I would be totally afraid to hand, hold a snake or a, a frog. A snake I wouldn't even close to holding if it has fur I'm probably going to want to hold it and probably kiss on it and love on it but if it doesn't have fur I'm probably not a big fan in real life my son had oh, what are those things called you can get in Florida hermit crab I don't know what the heck a purchase of a hermit crab is for I mean they do nothing they I don't even like fish uh, to me they're just boring and I know my my brother loves them <clears throat> and he has saltwater fish and he says how great they are and how some of them have their own personalities and I'm glad that he can see it because I cannot I don't like them they just seem like a chore to me I mean I know animals all take care you need to take care of all of them but can't pet a fish at least with my chihuahuas and my cute kitty cats I can love on them and pet on them okay this is where I'm having a problem because I can see the lines and I'm not really liking it But, and I just went over, or I'm bad at coloring inside, outside the lines. I just did it again. Okay, I'm going to take the lighter one before I go too nuts and try to do some blending here. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. I think that you can see a little bit of highlight and a little bit of shading. And I think that, I mean, you can certainly still tell it's a frog. It's, I didn't ruin it or anything. It's just not the best coloring job in the world for sure. And I'm sure that some of you would do much, much better. And then I'm going to color this lily pad this sage green color that I really do like a lot. And then I'm going to highlight this sage green color with a yellow greenish brownish color. I think that, I don't know what a lily pad really looks like. I know I've seen them, but I, um, it's been a while actually. I'm just going off memory from the past. I would say that's a little darker where he's sitting. Sitting on the lily pad. Oh, the last time I colored his legs too, and I kind of liked that. I think I'll do that again, but first I'll finish this up. I think this is the color that I want. Yeah, it's yellow, it's Y5, it's or Y4. I think it's called. I don't know what it's called. I can't read it. it. Starts with an S. I don't know. And it is a triart pin. It might even be in a different language because it doesn't look like a word I know. 
Looks like SOK something. I don't know. I'm sorry. So I'm just going to kind of go around the edges and go where underneath where he's sitting. And go around here. And then I'm going to take my green again and color some more. Try to blend this up a little bit. That's not doing a very good job. I don't know. There, there's not much color on that. I don't really use the chisel in much anyway, but I thought that I would use it since I opened it up to that end. I thought, well, I could probably go for that, but clearly that didn't work and this is not blending very well. Oh, la, 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 la. One day I will get these markers much better. Let's see. I'm going to see what other colors I can maybe use to blend in this. There's a turquoise color. That's probably not the color I want. Let's look at a different brown color maybe. A lighter brown. That's dark brown. What's this one? This one's almost gone too. So let's see what kind of blending I can do with this. I'm pushing really hard. <laughs> it's getting a little bit though. It looks a little better. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Yeah, I think I like that okay. That's all right. I need to get another drink. And I think I need to put on my list of things to purchase. The I think I'll do this in, well, purple is usually the color of these flowers, at least in my head. And last time I did it kind of cool where I was able to color just the tail end and then I took my colorless blender. I think I actually did it together then, but this time I'll do it separate. So I just took a little bit of the dark purple color. It's the only purple color I have, so I'm taking the colorless blender and just trying to bleed some of it out and up because I know that these flowers are purple on the lily pads. Well, if I'm in my recollection of them. So I'm just trying to make that a lighter purple and to kind of go all the way up to the tip. And it's not quite pushing it all the way up there, so I'm going to get a little bit on the tip of my colorless blender and do it a little bit that way. And just a little bit is all you need for these really dark colors. And that did it. So then I'm going to just clean off my colorless blender. And I think that that one looks decent. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the tripod. Hopefully it's all right. Um, so there's that. And then I'm going to take this green that I used. And I have the chisel tip. And I'm just tracing his little leg and foot and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side and his little arm I can't really see it on his arms very well but I just kind of like to make sure that they look green also and then the stem of this plant I don't know hmm Maybe I will do the stem in that turquoise color that I had. Let's give that a whirl and see how that looks. I think that looks decent. Because with all this green, it looks like it's just a different shade of green. And I think that that looks nice. So I think I'm going to stick with that. And then I'm going to color the flower. And the last one I used these cool wink um, 
I don't know what they're called, but this time I think I'm going to just color them with color and then I will use the Wink Stella to make them glittery wherever I decide. So let's go with the yellow and the black for Mr. Bumblebee and I'll start with his little face. And so that one will be black and this one will be yellow. And then I'm going to use actually a gray and not a black because sometimes when you use the black, it's so black, it's hard to see anything else. So I'm going to use this gray color. For that little bumbly bee. And see how it looks black anyway. And then I'm going to use a really lighter colored gray. I think this will do it. Oops. And I'm just going to highlight his little wings just a little bit. And then I'll go in with the colorless blender. Oh gosh, it still had some purple on it. Oh my goodness. Tammy, 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 I thought I cleaned that off. And I'm going to give him purple wings because every bumblebee has purple wings, right? Crazy man, crazy. So now they are totally purple. Oh well. That's not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to erase some of it now. I was just trying to give them a little bit of color with that gray. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear that, but it is like thundering outside. We were thinking of going to the pool, but it would not be a good idea. And I don't have a pool in the neighborhood, so we'd have to like go pay to go to a pool. I certainly wouldn't want to pay to go to a pool today. Oh my goodness, this colorless blender just keeps taking out that purple and uh, I guess I didn't do a very good job of getting it off of there. And I don't think there's any color come or any anything coming out of this side. Dag nabbit. Alright. We'll do what I say and not what I did, and it will be alright. And let's see, I'm going to color this pretty little flower. Um, I don't know what color to color him. I think I might do some orange because I'm going to incorporate, well, this is going to be behind it, I've decided. So maybe I'll do some whatever color. Well, that's too greenish. Maybe I'll just go with the pink again and some orange. Maybe pink and orange as a flower. Let's see how that will look. I would do... Goodness, of course, the only orange I have is this bright orange. And since my colorless blender is not trustworthy, I hate to use it. But since it's the only thing I got to use, I guess I'll go for it. And I'm just coloring the inside of the flower. It like has two sections in the flower. I'm just coloring the inner section with the with the orange. I was gonna say purple. No, it actually doesn't even look purple. Thank goodness. And I think using the colorless blender to help color it just makes it a lot lighter of a color. I some of these colors are beautiful, but they're so bright that I don't necessarily want all that bright on my project. And this colorless blender isn't really doing a lot since it's almost out of, it's, I don't know what it has in it, but it has something in it that like helps take color away. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is to make it work, it's almost out of whatever that is. I might have to go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow and see if they have any others. Or Michael's. I think Michael sells them too now. And so then I'm going to go and put some pink on here. I think I'm going to use, I might just use regular pink. Let's see how bright that is. Yeah, I think that's pretty. And we'll just go around the outside of this flower. Where I actually put some green on accident. And 
I like it. I don't love it. I might see what I have with this Stella stuff. Let's see. What colors did I get? Did I have an orange color? I do have an orange color. Okay. Change of plans. I'm going to use the orange and the pink in here. And I'm going to color the inside of this flower because I just colored outside the lines too much with the green to make the pink look green and then I'm just not real happy with the way that the flower looks so I am using this Stella stuff this wink stuff I don't even know what it's called I try to pronounce it and I'm not very good at it Kararana um, Kararana I don't know Arena? I don't know, but it's available on their website. I just went directly. I saw somebody on YouTube use it, and I thought, ooh, that's really pretty. And she put a link to a shop that sells it on her website, and I thought, oh, okay, I'll go there. But then I thought, you know what? Why don't I look and see if they have a website themselves? Because sometimes it's cheaper to buy directly from the manufacturer. So that's what I did. I just typed in that word, the K I R. A R I N A wink and sure enough it came up with a website and um, with the website that she had you they didn't have sets at least not that I saw uh, and this website had sets of four and I think that there's a total of 16 and I bought 12 of them um, there might be I don't know well I didn't I two of them are white I noticed so I have two white ones but that's okay because I have a hard time with white pins whenever I purchase them they seem to dry out so quickly so I usually purchase them two at a time and I did this the last time so I have two white pens that I like to use but frankly I'm not a huge fan of white pens just because I just don't seem to they don't seem to last very long Maybe it's because I don't use them enough. I don't know. But I thought, well, if there's two white ones, I'm not going to complain because hopefully they'll show up like the white. And I'm guessing that they will. That they show up like the white um, pens do on black. and Because I know that these look really sharp on black. I wish I had a piece of black scrap paper. I would so show you guys what these look like and maybe I will I right, just need to find a scrap piece of black all right here we go so let me show you these on the black paper I think that's really cool hopefully you can see that can you see that I can't tell if you can see that or not, but I think it looks really neat. So like if you were doing an envelope or something, you could so decorate it really pretty with these. I mean, I don't know. You could do like a cool T. And then you could address the envelope, you know. something like that or something and I think it just looks really sharp I like it and I love the glitter I always love glitter so I did the just like the Tammy there and I just like think that these markers just look so pretty now they do have to dry like that one is dry already I'm still kind of experimenting but I can see that this tea is still wet so I wouldn't touch that but the rest of it looks dry and it is so as soon as that wetness the wet look goes away and you'll be able to see it when you're close up to it I think it's dry to the touch so okay I'm just going to do kind of an easy card I was thinking of doing a pop out but I didn't really know what to pop out and I also need to replace my blade I'm just a mess because it's leaving little gunk around the edge so I need to replace that blade but I am going to I cut this at eight and a half by five and a half fold it so it's four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock and I found this heavy green cardstock um, I don't know if it's from Stampin' Up or where but I like it so I'm using that I think I'm going to go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby too and buy some just regular white cardstock and maybe another pack of just colored cardstock because I'm running low on my eight and a half by eleven cardstock and then I uh, 
I just cut out my digi. I didn't, I, I just guessed on the size when I printed it. So you can print it out whatever size. And then I'm printing, I cut this piece of pattern paper out, and I don't know who it's by, just a little bit larger than this. So I can put him on top of this is my plan. And I'm just kind of waiting for this flower to dry, but I think I will go ahead and put some adhesive and I'll just do it backwards. Usually I put the adhesive on the thing that I'm sticking down and not on the base, but I'm putting it this time. I'll just put it on the base just to get this card rolling. And I'm just going to stick this down here. And I think I will use some Wink of Stella still. I'm going to use some on this purple flower. And I'm going to use some on the Bumblebee. Bee. And I think I'll use it on his wings and even on his little fight in the circle. And a stinger. And I can say that that orange doesn't really look real glittery. So I'm going to put a little bit more wink of Stella on there. Yeah, I think that looks better. And you know what I was kind of thinking? I was kind of thinking I might put googly eyes on the froggy. So let's let me look if I need a stash of googly eyes. I just purchased them. I don't even know where, but I just stuck them in a Glade container. And they're just all different sizes. So let's see if I used this size. And put them here. Oops, I can't turn them over. <laughs> Ah, I'm having a problem with the eyeball. There it goes. I'm trying not to touch that flower. So I could put them... Ooh, don't dump those eyes, Tammy. I don't know if I like that size. I think I'm going to go a size up. Let's see what this size looks like. Oh, I like that better. Okay, I like that. And I'm going to do googly eyes. Googly, googly eyes. I don't know why things are sometimes just hard to pick up. I could go with these. <laughs> Let's see how that looks. That's actually kind of cute, isn't it? That's funny. Hmm, do I like that better? Do I have any others? Like, is there a size between those two? Well, I think this is bigger. Oh no, now they're sticking to me. Um, yeah, I don't like those. Look, they're like stuck on. That's funny. <laughs> come off, come off. I might need to put some, I don't know. Maybe this will help. This little, I got this powder thing. For embossing. I've never had one of these, but I saw people use them a lot, and I thought, you know what? When I made my last purchase, I thought, I'm just going to get one of those and see if it really does make a difference. And I, I haven't embossed since then. Of course not. That's the way it works, isn't it? But I've only had it a few days, I guess. I've probably not even a week, but still. Okay, so I like those. Those are cute. Now I'm going to put the other ones on again and see if I like those better. Those are cute. Those look like big frog eyes. And then these look like huge frog eyes, but they're cute too. 
Guys, I really can't decide. Huh. Okay, I'm going to go with the smaller ones, but these are really cute. I might have to make this card again and use those big, big old, big old, big old eyes. Okay. So now I'm just going to get regular glue. And I'm just going to put some glue. Oops. Squirt it out. Down. Don't want to use too awfully much but enough and then I sometimes lick my finger just a little bit so that it gets wet just damp so that I can pick these things up and they usually stick to your finger and then you can stick it wherever you want it oh goodness I kind of messed up that one Ugh. let me get my lifty thing if I can find it I'm going to use this lifter that I use for my Cricut or my silhouette, either one. And I'm just going to lift this up and then I'll put it back down because I kind of screwed up and didn't put it on the blob. It just got on the corner of the glue. <laughs> These eyes are giving me a fuss. I guess he wanted the big eyes. Goodness gracious. I just want it to go on that big mess of glue there instead of on just the corner of the glue because I didn't want to have a big mess of glue on the side. Now I have a shiny eye where his, where the glue has spread, but oh well. This is real life, people. The struggle is real. <laughs> okay, so that's cute. That's the worst thing I can say is that I'm having trouble with eyeballs on a card. I'd say I'm doing pretty darn well. So I'm going to put this here. I cut off another little strip that I thought that I could put here. Um, I need a drink again. I guess I'm talking too much. I do think that that's cute. I think I'm going to need something more though because I, I don't know. I'm just... I'm into embellishments lately. Bows and such. I've always been into bows though. I like big bows and I cannot lie. And I'm going to, I'm gonna pop dot him. That's what I'm gonna do. That's the word I'm gonna do. Take my pop dots and that's fairly dry, but I'm not going to put it on that. I'll put it on here. Let's take some pop dots and pop dot this puppy. One. Two. It is pouring out there. Three. Four. Five. And I think that that will be enough. I hope my son isn't playing basketball or football out there in that rain. But it's horrible because it's hot and, ugh, and it's humid. Now this eye is kind of moving around. Goodness gracious, I'm having a struggle with these eyes and that glue. Maybe I shouldn't have used just kids art glue left over from school. But that's what I used. And I know that these edges are fine being frayed like that and I know that it's not a big deal but to me I just don't like the way it looks it's just where the ruler cut it so I'm just kind of trying to get it so it's not so frayed looking I need to make a list of what I need at the craft store I need a new blade. And let's see, I'm going to write it down on this and I'm going to use this cute little thing and I'm going to really make my list right now as we're talking because otherwise I will forget. So I'm going to put a Fiskars blade
and I need um, colorless blender. And I need YG03. And I also need what other color was going out. Oh, BG000. Those are Copics. And then I don't think that they sell the tri art anywhere. I think I just get those online. And I think that if I had those two refills, I can look into see if any of the others are running out that I know of and I don't think so so I think that that might be good so there's my list so far I'll just make it an ongoing list until I go to the store and and or shop online because I am an online shopper I love shopping online are these eyes ever gonna stop moving around and hopefully that doesn't look too bad once it's I don't know, but it's cute. It's a cute little card. Let's see. Maybe I can put... Maybe it doesn't need any more embellishments. Maybe I just need to put something cute on the inside. Like, you're an animal. <laughs> um, happy birthday is always good. The earlier, the one I did earlier was totally awesome, or totally fabulous, which is cute. Um, but I don't think I want to use the same one. So let's see. I like I like having birthday cards because they're nice to keep, just keep in stock. But honestly, I'd prefer to have just any, like I can use it for anything. I don't think I want your animal on there, even though that's funny. Let's see. I'm kind of looking at these handwritten notes. And I have PTI written on it, like I'm supposed to remember what that stood for. So I could tell you all where I purchased these, and I have no idea. PTI. Um, I'm sorry, guys, I don't know. Maybe if you looked up, Googled PTI handwritten notes, if you're interested in these, you might be able to find them. And I apologize for not having a better memory as to where I got them. I think I put them in these CD cases just so it's easier for me to see. But I do not even remember. Uh, let's see. You make my life fun. That's fun. Um, you're the best. Love ya. I'm over the moon. Sprinkles of happy thoughts. Enjoy every day. Enjoy life. You make me smile every day. You make life fun. Um, this shouldn't be that hard, should it? Maybe just have a great day. That's the one. That's the ticket. Okay, and I'm going to get out my little stampy thing. But have a great day down. It's sticking to me. And use my little Martha Stewart thingy, my Bobby. And I don't know why I'm doing that because I have to straighten it out before I put it down. And then I'm just going to use this little black ink pad that I have. I don't know where I even got it, but it's useful for this. And then I'm going to turn it over and center it up where I want it. Oh, get my hair off of there. Yuck. My daughter freaks out over hair, so she would really be freaking out. And let's push. I don't want to push too hard and release. Have a great day. That looks cute. So here's the card, and I think I'm just going to call it done. Cute little froggy, and have a great day. So thank you very much for requesting a video, and if you guys have any other things that you'd like to see, please, of course, let me know. These are fun to play with. You push them down. Do, 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 do.
um, please let me know and I will be happy to do if you guys have a particular card you want to see, a sympathy card, a get well soon card, whatever. They're fun to make and I'd be happy to do what I can to accommodate. I'm not the best at making sympathy cards. I, I, I don't really like to make them, but I will because I know that they're a needed necessity. So I will, a needed necessity, that's probably redundant, but oh well. I will be happy to do that if that's what you want. Or just tell me what it is that you'd like to see and I will be more than happy to try to accommodate. So I guess that's it. I will talk to you next time and thanks for watching.